Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Wales Ales. Tonight's episode is a totally different one. It's a blind tasting. Um, to celebrate uh, Dogs Window's first anniversary, the brewer has given me a taster from his experimental range. Look at that. Absolutely no label. Haven't got a clue. Well, I do have a little bit because he's given me a name. So this is going to be a, a true blind tasting of a beer that I haven't tasted before. All he's let me know is it's, it's called a lemon drop lager. So there's no ABV, no tasting notes, uh, only an indication of the style. So over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to tell you what I think about it, um, tell you a bit more about the brewery, then give it a rating. Now, they've got a core range of beers, stay, good boy, sit, etc. Uh, but Dog's Window have recently launched an experimental range. So they've included a, an Imperial Porter, a Dark Belgium Ale, um, and with the aim of seeing what customers think about it, how popular they are, and maybe then seeing if those beers progress into the core range. So a lemon drop lager. Now, an indication there is the hop used, which is a lemon drop. So I'm expecting something a bit citrusy, and lemon. I've never had a beer with a lemon drop um, hops in it before. I know Verdant and Northern Monk uh, have launched some beers and it's getting a little um, experimental and interesting out there with brewers trying this sort of hop. So let's see what Lee from Dog's Window has done. Very nice aroma there. So let's pour a little bit. Now look at that there, fantastic carbonisation there. Looks very much as you would expect a lager to be. Fizzy, lively, decent head there. Um, let's have a smell of it. Oh, it's very nice. It's um, quite herbal um, and minty. A very nice, pleasant aroma to it. Yeah, got a sort of a... A herbal minty sort of citrus smell to it. Ah, that looks good. Look at that. Lovely and golden. Smells good. Let's dive in and see what a lemon drop lager tastes like. Oh, wow. I say ding dong after that. that uh, hits you straight away. There's a lot going on in this. Now, I don't know about the ABV, but it tastes like it's going to be a bit more of a sessionable one. So probably a nice four and a half percent mark, I would, I would guess. Yeah. I'm picking up a nice sort of citrus lemon character to it. Um, a good little bit of sweetness coming through on it. But incredibly easy drinking. And look at it. Still nice and lively. Still looking fantastic. That is very satisfying. Um, I wish I was in a, in a beer garden last weekend when it was uh, uh, lovely and sunny drinking this. Because that would just go down an absolute storm. It's from Lee's experimental range, but you know what? I think this would appeal to a lot of people. Um, a lot of traditional lager drinkers who drink Carlin, Fosters, etc. are looking at craft beers, but there's such a big variety. So this could be what I would deem as a great transitional beer. If you're used to drinking Carlin and, and uh, Fosters, those sort of lagers, you taste this. It's got that familiarity with it, but then added with an extra bit of zest. So you're in your comfort zone, but you think, actually, I quite like those craft beers. And I think similarly as well, it would appeal to the other end of the spectrum. People who maybe drink brew ale, like uh, um, like normal standard traditional mass-produced um, bitter, might be looking at craft beers and thinking, oh, they're all a bit too zany, all a little bit too weird. That's not for me. Again. This isn't too much of a jump of their imagination. Oh, 
I'm going to put my um, reputation on the line here <laughs> and I'm going to say it's going to be launched as an experimental range but I don't think it'll be sitting as an experimental range for very long. That is really nice and this comes from a person who doesn't like to see through his beard. I like it dark. I like it strong. I like it very rich. If it's got Imperial on it or um, uh, double at the start, then, then that piques my interest. A Sasha Malaga, not interested. So it just goes to show that this really sits for, uh, for a lot of people's appeal, really. So I'm really enjoying this, and this is a fantastic beer. So, yeah, time for a pun. Dog's window. This gets a K9 out of 10 from Wales Ales. Thank you very much. Sorry about the pun. Tune in next time.